Let's go to in the member room, Drew from Fort Lauderdale. Drew, you're on the air. David, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. I want to switch gears a little bit here, and I wanted to ask you, were you able to watch the launch of the James Webb telescope? I was not. Was it exhilarating? It was. Uh, CNN did not uh, carry it live, okay. but I watched the NASA live feed, and I wanted to ask you, what, what do you say to people who believe that that type of endeavor is a total waste of money? I disagree with I, them completely. And here's the I was thing. At, uh, oh, sorry, I, sorry. I, I, let me f- let you finish formulating the question. I apologize. Yeah, no problem. Um, see, I, I have three young nephews, and I've always tried to instill a sense of curiosity in them, bought them telescopes, take them through nature walks, you know, to, you know, uh, get them out of the house and not be playing video games and things like that. And then I have family members who are at the dinner table on Christmas when I'm telling them about this, ins- you know, this amazing thing that's going on. And they're at the table saying, it's a complete waste of money. It's a, you know, it's a total waste of time. How do you how do you feel? How do you deal with that? Very often these folks will say, you know, if we put the money we put into the space thing into hunger or housing or healthcare or whatever, here's what we could we could pay for. I think that that's really a false notion because we never put all of our money into anything. And and so starting from the idea that here's all the stuff we could cancel and put it here, we that's not how societies operate. People have different interests and you're not going to convince the people doing the space stuff to put all of the money into hunger because they're interested in space stuff, you know, for better or for worse. That's number one. Number two, so many potentially game changing technologies with regard to medicine transportation, climate change, et cetera, could come from space exploration. And I think it's a it's a great thing. I think it's a great thing. And I disagree with those who say it's not something we should be investing in. Yeah, I mean, I asked them, I'm like, what are you, are you OK with spending tens of billions of dollars on a useless wall or, or you know, seven hundred billion dollars on defense? And they're, of course, like, oh, yeah, we need those things. Right. And, you know, the fact is, I just looked it up. The 2020 budget for NASA is 22 billion. I mean, that's 0.48 percent, 0.48 percent of the total budget. Yes. I mean, it's it's like nothing. And and I just think it's so important that we, you know, I would take 100 billion dollars out of the defense budget and send it to NASA if it were up to me. There you go. Yeah. No, I think uh, I th- it's it's. We don't even know the full scope of all the benefit we will get from it. So I'm with you. I just got one last question, a more personal question for you, sir. Mm. If there was any, I know you're well-traveled and I love to travel as well too and haven't been able to do it, but uh, where's on this planet, where's the place that you would like to go that you haven't been yet? So the two places that are very high on my list right now are Japan and um, uh, Peru. Okay. Are there any particular reasons as to why? No, just I've been interested in both for a very long time. And they're just a play. I I was scheduled to go to both at the beginning of 2020 uh, and the pandemic threw threw that out. And so they're still high on my list. One of the places that I've been been to that was probably one of my favorite places was Iceland. Have you ever been there? Uh, (laughs) Excuse me. (laughs) Only for about an hour in the airport. I have never had the pleasure. I highly recommend it uh, for a destination put it on the bucket list. I, it is on the list. It is on the list. Thank you. Good, sir. Very much appreciate it. A strong caller there.